I think the bigger issue and, and thing to understand is a contracting agency and a granting agency. So when you are a contracting agency, you basically have a more defined problem that you are looking for a solution for. Um, if you are a granting agency, you have a broad mission, Department of Energy, National Science Foundation, HHS, Health, you know, great science, that you are looking for the investigators, you as individuals, to come forward with an idea that has a marketable value and that you are presenting that to us. So it's much easier for one to find topics for granting agencies than it is for contracting agencies. Um, so oftentimes when I was in Navy, they'd be like, look, I have a solution that does this, this, and this. It'll save you all these, these, this money, and this is a great solution. But if we didn't have a topic for that, we couldn't fund it. So we're gonna kind of talk about, so understanding that is one of the things you wanna understand with agencies, how broad their topics are, what general topics they, you're allowed to submit to. Do they allow you to talk to their individual program managers beforehand to get an idea of what the right fit is? How much can you go back and forth? They all have the ability to do that, but they all vary, so it's, it's important to really understand those rules and take advantage of talking to those individuals. So with a grant, one is allowed to actually talk to the people that are gonna evaluate right up to the time of submission of a proposal. Under contract rules, that doesn't exist, and so what those with contracts will typically do, they'll put out something called a pre-release. And during that stage, you can actually email and talk to the topic office. So the DOD will list, so the, and the DOD is about half the program, that's why I bring them up a lot. They'll list their topic authors, they'll say we're in pre-release, you're allowed to talk to these individuals. You'll only have three weeks to a month, I think, to talk to them. Uh, you can email and phone call them with questions. And then once it officially opens, any question would have to be publicly submitted and publicly responded to. So knowing that kind of information and what you can talk to, it'll vary by agency and how they actually execute it, because even certain granting agencies uh, are sometimes harder to reach. So they, and the reality is, is I'm not gonna call them out, but you can probably talk to individuals. There are certain grant agencies that you can talk to us right up to the time of solicitation, but I'll have individuals say they're really hard to get in touch with. NSF does a neat thing where they basically, uh, you can submit a two page uh, white paper at any time throughout the year, and the person that manages that topic will give you some time and talk to you and give you some responses. So it does vary a little bit, but the biggest difference is that grant and uh, contract stage, and again, really, really important. If you're gonna write a proposal, you really wanna talk to the individuals that typically if they manage that topic, they are gonna be involved in the evaluation and get as much out of that as possible to figure out whether it's worthwhile and what are the things that are really important to them.